Here we are in London the scene of the Olympic Games 2012. Hello and welcome everyone. There are a lot of people arguing about fair play. Or also called sportsmanship and gamesmanship. And we like to talk about that here in front of the Big Ben. Here around the Big Ben many athletes will run for long distance running. And there might be athletes who are not naturally good at running or any other discipline. For example the American cycler Lance Armstrong has many reproaches that he doped. Lance Armstrong? He did not dope. He was sick and had to take his medicine. Yes, this is what many people say. But also many say that his illness was an excuse for taking this drugs. But this is not detected. This is one example for gamesmanship. Armstrong did everything for being the best in his sport, even if no one really knows that he took drugs. But it is really close. Because he started once the Tour de France without taking his medicine and didn't win at all. But they are also good sports persons who are examples for sportsmanship. They just want to have fun in their sport and support their team. You can also say that it means they are being a good winner as well as being a good loser. Or also just shaking the hands with your opponent after the match. Yes, that is right. In the first Sydney test between India and Australia there was a rare example of sportsmanship from Ricky Ponting. Rahul Dravid edged a shot straight to Ponting in the slips who appeared to take the catch. As the rest of the Australia team ran towards him in celebration and Dravid set off from the wicket Ponting said that he had not fully caught it and that the ball had hit the floor. Consequently the wicket did not stand and Dravid returned to the crease. There are a few more examples for gamesmanship and sportsmanship. One of the more famous gamesmanship examples in tennis, Leighton Hewitt, was the victim of gamesmanship in a match at the 2005 Australian Open. The gamesmanship occurred in a match against Juan Ignacio Cella. Hewitt won a vital game in the match, and yelled his trademark, Jean Me Son. This seemed to upset Cella, and as the two walked to their chairs after the game, Cella spat in Hewitt's direction. Cella was fined 2,000 US dollars for the incident. All these examples have a big influence on other athletes. On the one hand, they do not want to be a loser. They want to win the game or match or whatever. But on the other hand they also do not want to get caught or pay for anything they have done wrong. And another influence example I got to know from a German friend. They told me, to come back to Lance Armstrong and the Tour de France, that many public television broadcasting services didn't want to show the Tour de France because of many incidents of doping. But I hope that every single athlete in the Olympic Games next year will play run or fight fairly for the winner of each discipline. And not only in the Olympic Games 2012, but also in every other game, match, run or other sport event. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and listening. And if you do any sport, don't forget. Be fair.